Hello mga ka-learners! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir Elmore saying, Learn more, aim high! Alright! In this video, guys, I will discuss solving quadratic equations by factoring using the reverse of file part 2. And first, we have the objective. The learner solves quadratic equations by factoring using the reverse of file method where a is greater than 1. And this is the part 2 of our lesson since we are done already in part 1 where in the value of a is equal to 1. All right? Review. As discussed in part 1 of the lesson, what are the things to consider in factoring quadratic equations? Guys, always remember that in factoring, the equation must be in standard form since we are following the zero product property or the principle of zero product. And Considering the value of A equals 1, identify the values of B and C respectively. And next, find or think of the factors of C with the sum of B. And that's it. Okay, examples. Number 1, 2x squared minus 7x plus 5 equals 0. The question is, how do we solve or how do we factor out this quadratic equation considering that the value of a is greater than 1? Now, in here, I will not use the traditional way of solving this problem. Instead, I will use my alternative way and that is what I want to show you guys. Okay, let us start. Letter A. Transform the equation into x squared plus bx plus AC equals 0, meaning to say we're going to multiply the value of A to C. Thus, x squared minus 7x plus 10 equals 0. Again, we will multiply the value of A, which is 2, to the value of C, which is 5, and that is 10. Letter B. Factor the new equation using the same process in part 1 of the lesson. And let the factored form as quantity of x plus m times quantity of x plus n equals 0. Go back to letter A or to our new equation in letter A. In x squared minus 7x plus 10 equals 0, the value of A here is 1 and then the value of C is 10. Now, to factor out this one, since we are done with part 1, we will just use the shortcut. Observe, the sign of C is positive, so therefore the sign of its two factors with the sum of B are the same. And the sign should be negative. Why? Because the sign of B is negative. Now, let us think of two negative factors of 10 with the sum of negative 7. And if we're going to think it clearly, the two factors of 10 with the sum of negative 7 are negative 5 and negative 2. Thus, we have quantity of x minus 5 times quantity of x minus 2 equals 0. Letter C. Transform the factored form in B as quantity of x plus m over a times quantity of x plus n over a equals 0. Why? Why do we need to transform into this factored form? Let's go back to our original equation. Since from the original equation, we multiply the value of a to c, now let us do the inverse operation. That is why we need to divide 
the value of a here. Or 2, the constant term of each factor. Thus, we have quantity of x minus 5 over 2 times quantity of x minus 2 over 2 equals 0. Letter D. Set up each factor in letter C equal to 0 and solve for x in simplest form. Okay, so let us set up the equation. So from x minus 5 over 2, we have x minus 5 over 2 equals 0. From x minus 2 over 2 equals 0, we have x minus 2 over 2 equals 0. And let us solve first the value of x of this equation. Let us not make things complicated. Let us just make the shortcut, the uh, easy way, thin solving or providing the value of x here by means of getting the opposite of the constant term here. The constant term is negative 5 over 2 and the opposite of it is 5 over 2. So, x equals 5 over 2. Now, is 5 over 2 in simplest form? Yes, this is just an improper fraction, but this is already in simplest form. Here, in x minus 2 over 2 equals 0, we will also uh, give the value of x by getting the opposite of negative 2 over 2, and that is 2 over 2. So, x equals 2 over 2, and 2 over 2 is not in simplest form. So, let us simplify 2 over 2. Okay, what, what is 2 over 2? Okay, good. It is 1. So, x equals 1. Now, take note, mga ka-learners, from C or from here, we can directly simplify the higher form of the constant term in each factor, like this. 2 over 2 is higher form. If we simplify, that is equal to 1. So, we can have x minus 1 equals 0. And the opposite of negative 1 is 1. That is why we have x equals 1. From C, or from here, we can directly simplify the constant term of each factor in higher form. Like this, in x minus 2 over 2, we can simplify this one into 1. So we can have x minus 1 equals 0. And the opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. So therefore, x equals 1. Let's do the checking. For x equals 5 over 2, and our original equation is 2x squared minus 7x plus 5 equals 0, let us substitute the value of x. We have 2 times 5 over 2 squared minus 7 times 5 over 2 plus 5 equals 0. Next, copy 2 and square 5 over 2. And that is 25 over 4. Since 5 times 5 equals 25 and 2 times 2 equals 4. Next, multiply negative 7 to 5 over 2 and the answer is negative 35 over 2 plus 5 equals 0. Next, from this, let us simplify 2 over 4. Let us cancel out. 2 will become 1 and 4 will become 2. And multiply 1 times 25 is 25 over 2 minus 35 over 2 plus 5 equals 0. Notice here we have fractions. And our fractions are similar since 
the denominator are the same. And so we can directly execute the operation in the numerator. 25 minus 35 is negative 10 over the common denominator, which is 2 plus 5 equals 0. Let us simplify. Negative 10 over 2 is negative 5 plus 5 equals 0. Obviously, negative 5 plus 5 is 0. So, 0 equals 0. Check. For x equals 1, let us substitute 1 to x of our original equation. We have 2 times 1 squared minus 7 times 1 plus 5 equals 0. Square of 1 is 1 times 2, 2. Negative 7 times 1 equals negative 7 plus 5 equals 0. 2 minus 7 is negative 5 plus 5 equals 0. Again, obviously negative 5 plus 5 equals 0. So, 0 equals 0. Check. Number 2. 3x squared minus 11x minus 4 equals 0. Using the same process, let, let's have letter A. Let us multiply A to C. We have x squared minus 11x minus 12 equals 0. Next, let us factor out and observe that the sign of C is negative. So therefore, the signs of its two factors with the sum of negative 11 are different. One is positive and the other one is negative. And take note that the sign of 11 or at the middle term will go to the sign of the factor of C with higher absolute value. Now, let us think of negative and positive numbers with the product of negative 12 and with the sum of negative 12. 11. If you are going to think it properly, the numbers would be negative 12 and positive 1. Thus, we have quantity of x minus 12 times quantity of x plus 1 equals 0. Letter C, let us divide the constant term of each factor by the value of A. We have quantity of x minus 12 over 3 times quantity of x plus 1 thirds equals 0. And then letter D, let us set up each factor equal to 0. Solve for x in simplest form. So we have x minus 12 over 3 equals 0 and x plus one-third equals zero. To solve for x, let us get the opposite of negative 12 over 3, and that is 12 over 3. 12 over 3 is in higher form, so we will simplify. What is 12 over 3 or 12 divided by 3? Okay, good, that is 4. So x is 4. In x plus 1 third equals 0, the opposite of 1 third is negative 1 third. So x equals negative 1 third. Again, from C or from here, we can directly simplify the higher form of the constant term in each factor. So we can simplify 12 over 3 and that is 4. So we can have x minus 4 equals 0, and then the opposite of negative 4 is 4. So we have x equals 4. Let's do the checking. For x equals 4, 3x squared minus 11x minus 4 equals 0. Let us substitute 4 to x. We have 3 times 4 squared minus 11 times 4 minus 4 equals 0. 4 squared is 16. 
times 3 is 48. Negative 4 times 4 is negative 44. Minus 4 equals 0. 48 minus 44 is 4. 4 minus 4 equals 0. So therefore, 0 equals 0. Check. For x equals negative 1 thirds, 3x squared minus 11x minus 4 equals 0. Let us substitute the value of x, which is negative 1 thirds. 3 times quantity of negative 1 third squared minus 11 times negative 1 thirds minus 4 equals 0. Next, copy 3 and let us pair negative 1 third, which is negative 1 over 9. This is negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, and 3 times 3 equals 9. Next, multiply negative 11 to negative 1 third, and the answer is positive 11 over 3, minus 4 equals 0. Next, let us uh, simplify 3 over 9. Let us cancel out. 3 will become 1, and 9 will become 3. 1 times 1 is 1, and then copy the denominator 3 plus 11 over 3 minus 4 equals 0. Again, we have similar fractions, so we can directly execute the operation in the numerator. So 1 plus 11 equals 12 over copy the common denominator, which is 3 minus 4 equals 0. Now, 12 over 3 equals 4 minus 4 equals 0. And obviously, 4 minus 4 equals 0. So, 0 equals 0. Try to solve the following. Using the techniques, using the shortcut, using the alternative way that I discussed, you can apply to solve this easier and faster. Number 1. 4x squared plus 9x plus 2 equals 0. Number 2, 5x squared plus 4x minus 1 equals 0. And mga learners, this is the end of our lesson, solving quadratic equations by factoring part 2 because the value of a is greater than 1. And before I will officially close or end with this session, Allow me to share this. Be consistent in discovering and learning new things to work easier and faster. By Sir Mar. Maraming salamat po.